Have you ever wondered what shaped Charles Dickens, one of the greatest novelists of the Victorian era, to be the author he became? Born in 1812 in Portsmouth, England, Dickens' early life was marked by hardship and struggle. The Dickens family was often plagued with financial difficulties culminating in his father's imprisonment for debt when Charles was just 12 years old. This event led to young Dickens finding employment in a factory, an experience that deeply affected him and inspired many of his later works. Despite these challenges, Dickens fostered a passion for reading from a young age, educating himself through books and developing an early interest in writing. These years of self-education laid the groundwork for his future literary achievements. These early experiences cast a long shadow over Dickens' life and would later become a recurring theme in his novels. How did Dickens' early experiences influence his literary career, you might wonder? Well, the answer lies in his first published story, A Dinner at Poplar Walk, which offered a glimpse of his future brilliance. This early work, while not as renowned as his later novels, was a stepping stone that led him to his first major success, The Pickwick Papers. An overnight sensation, The Pickwick Papers catapulted Dickens into the literary spotlight showcasing his knack for creating colorful characters and weaving intricate narratives. The popularity of this work marked the beginning of Dickens' prolific output, with novels like Oliver Twist, David Copperfield, Great Expectations, and A Tale of Two Cities, soon following. Each novel was a world unto itself, filled with vivid characters, intricate plots, and a keen eye for social commentary. Take Oliver Twist, for instance, a poignant tale of a young orphan navigating the harsh realities of the Victorian underworld. This novel not only enthralled readers with its narrative, but also brought to light the harsh realities of child labor and poverty. David Copperfield, often considered semi-autobiographical, is another testament to Dickens' literary genius. It's a coming-of-age story that explores themes of identity, ambition, and personal growth all set against the backdrop of Victorian England. Then, there's Great Expectations, a profound exploration of social mobility, personal development, and the illusions of grandeur. The novel's protagonist, Pip, embodies the universal human quest for a better life, making the novel as relevant today as it was in the 19th century. Finally, A Tale of Two Cities offers an intense portrayal of love and sacrifice amidst the turmoil of the French Revolution. It's a tale that resonates with the timeless theme of redemption, showing that even in the darkest of times, there's a glimmer of hope. In all these works, Dickens masterfully combines storytelling with social critique, creating narratives that are both captivating and thought-provoking. His characters, from the lovable to the villainous, live on in our collective memory, their stories echoing the struggles and triumphs of humanity. Dickens' novels gave voice to the unheard, and shed light on the injustices of Victorian society. His works, steeped in realism and rich in social commentary, continue to resonate with readers around the globe, making Charles Dickens a towering figure in the world of literature. What made Dickens' novels so groundbreaking? One might say it's his unforgettable characters or his gripping plots, but at the heart of it all, Dickens was a profound social critic who used his novels as a lens to scrutinize the Victorian society in which he lived. Dickens didn't shy away from the grim realities of the era. His stories were set against the backdrop of a society marked by stark inequalities and rampant injustices. From the grimy streets of London to the austere workhouses, his novels brought to light the harsh conditions endured by the poor. Take Oliver Twist, for instance where Dickens unflinchingly portrayed the plight of the poor and the rampant child labor. Or, Hard Times, where he critiqued industrialization and its dehumanizing effects on workers. Dickens' novels were not just tales of individual hardship but a damning indictment of a society that allowed such conditions to persist. He questioned the moral fabric of a society that ignored the plight of its most vulnerable members, shedding light on issues such as poverty, child labor, and class division. But Dickens' social critique wasn't just confined to his themes, it was woven into his characters as well. Dickens peopled his novels with characters that were as memorable as they were symbolic. There's Ebenezer Scrooge from A Christmas Carol, whose transformation from a miserly old man to a generous benefactor is a critique of the self-interest that Dickens saw as prevalent in society. Then there's Oliver Twist, whose innocence and resilience in the face of adversity shed light 
on the hardships endured by the poor. Through these characters, Dickens not only entertained his readers, but also made them confront the social issues of his time. His characters were a mirror to society, reflecting its virtues and vices, its triumphs and failures. In doing so, Dickens made a profound impact on literature and culture. His works have stood the test of time, not just because of their narrative prowess or memorable characters, but due to the social critique they embodied. Through his novels, Dickens painted a vivid picture of Victorian England and its many social ills. What made Dickens' writing so unique and engaging? This question often looms large in the minds of readers and literary enthusiasts. Let's unravel the mystery. Charles Dickens had an idiosyncratic writing style, characterized by colorful descriptions, vivid imagery, and an astute sense of humor. His narratives were immersive, his characters were meticulously crafted, and his dialogues were brimming with wit and wisdom. What set him apart was his skillful use of literary devices such as symbolism, irony, and humor. He expertly wielded these tools to weave intricate tales, create compelling characters, and subtly critique societal norms and injustices. His symbolism was profound yet accessible, often used to underscore the stark realities of Victorian society. Irony was another favorite tool in Dickens' literary arsenal. It allowed him to highlight the contradictions and hypocrisies of the era while maintaining a light, humorous tone. And speaking of humor, Dickens' ability to blend comedy with tragedy was nothing short of genius. His humor was not frivolous, it was a powerful narrative technique that made his social commentary more palatable and impactful. But Dickens' innovative approach to literature was not confined to his writing style. He was also a pioneer in the realm of serial publication. Instead of releasing his novels in one go, Dickens serialized them in newspapers and magazines. This was a revolutionary approach in the 19th century. It made his novels more accessible to the masses, who could now afford to read his works in affordable, bite-sized installments. This strategy also boosted the popularity of his novels, as the suspense and anticipation built over several weeks or months kept readers hooked and eager for the next installment. Dickens' unique writing style and innovative publishing approach made his works resonate with a broad audience, transcending barriers of class and literacy. His distinctive prose painted vivid pictures, his narrative techniques stirred emotions, and his serial publication strategy sparked anticipation. In essence, Dickens' creative genius and innovative spirit revolutionized the literary world. Dickens' distinctive prose and innovative publishing methods revolutionized the literary world. What was Dickens' life like off the page and how do we remember him today? Charles Dickens, while renowned for his literary prowess, was also a man of complex personal relationships and philanthropic pursuits. His personal life was as vivid and diverse as the characters he created. Dickens married Catherine Hogarth in the year of 1836, and together they had ten children. However, their marital life was far from idyllic. After 22 years of marriage, they separated, a decision that caused a scandal in Victorian society. Despite his tumultuous personal life, Dickens was known for his boundless energy and compassion. He was deeply involved in various philanthropic activities, supporting causes close to his heart like education for the poor, health care, and prison reform. Dickens also cultivated a wide circle of friends, including fellow authors, actors, and social reformers, reflecting his multifaceted interests and empathetic nature. Moving beyond his personal life, Dickens's influence on literature, storytelling, and popular culture is immeasurable. He revolutionized the novel form, brought attention to social issues through his works, and created characters that have become cultural icons. From Ebenezer Scrooge to Oliver Twist, Dickens' characters continue to be a part of popular imagination, resonating with readers across generations. Now let's turn our attention to Dickens' enduring legacy and how it is celebrated today. Dickens is widely regarded as one of the greatest novelists in the English language. His works have been translated into countless languages, studied in schools and universities around the globe, and adapted into numerous films, plays, and television series. His influence on literature is so profound that it has its own term, Dickensian, referring to the distinctive elements of his works, including his vivid characterization, intricate plots, and social critique. Celebrations of Dickens' life and contributions are also widespread. Every year, the city of Rochester in England hosts a Dickens festival, drawing fans from all over the world with parades, performances, and readings of his works. The Charles Dickens Museum in London, once his home, 
now serves as a shrine for Dickens' aficionados, showcasing his personal belongings and providing insights into his life and works. In Portsmouth, the city of his birth, a statue of Dickens stands, a silent tribute to the city's most famous son. Furthermore, in the realm of academia, Dickens' works continue to be a rich source of study and analysis, his narratives offering a window into Victorian society and its complexities. His novels, with their blend of humor, drama, and social commentary, remain as relevant today as they were in his time. Charles Dickens, a man of humble origins, rose to become one of the most influential writers of his time, and continues to captivate readers with his timeless tales.